But this is what it all comes down to. Third and final map on Vertigo. So big welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, going to be the deciding map. And uh, yeah, we're going to get right into it. It looks like complexity going to be starting on the CT side. Vitality on the T side. They do not have a P250, so it's going to be all Glocks, which I think on this map actually that actually works like a, as an idea pretty well. Mm. You can get up close quarters, right? Yeah. It's not so much long tippy tappy where the P250 makes up for the USP. Uh, here it is going to be the Glock run and gun explode onto a bomb site. Poison going to have that early warning system in place though for complexity. Eyes on ramp and he's going to get pressured fairly quickly here, but he does have his teammates around. Blame F had an opportunity and it's not going to happen. Misuda, who's back in the match, will take down Poison and Shoxi finds one of his own, but this is now turning into a bit of a back and forth struggle. That is nice shots from Rush. Super important here. Almost getting run down, but he'll get another kill. Now he's up of the box. Really exposed. Oh, and he lands the quad. That is fantastic. Now, it's a lot of time. Not that much health for Apex, but I mean, again, he could definitely do it. They're low on health too, and all he needs is to connect with a couple of bullets and Rush sneak it around. He's looking for the ace and the pistol. Still 50 seconds. He's going to go for it. He's been spotted already, and he's been wall banged. In the meantime, he does go down. Oh, it's so close, and he was spotted. Apex can absolutely win this. He could go anywhere. He'd go back to the B-bomb site. And I think, did he see the kit there as well? So I don't think that really matters now. But yeah, it's worth taking a note of Config hiding in the corner. And Apex has no idea. Oh, no. What a way to lose it. He did so much right there. <laughs> and getting teabagged at the same time. Well, uh, Apex was thirsty. That was really nice. Of did that all happen, I guess. Guy. Complexity oh, him. He was so close. I think we've had, what, one ace so far? Simple, yeah, I think, one, I think. But... yeah, I think we've had one ace so far. So he would have joined that uh, that illustrious list. And unfortunately for him, he just barely misses out in the end. A lot of frustration there from Apex getting shown. But it's still early days here, gentlemen. First round of this map. Complexity take the pistol on that CT sign. So looking good. But uh, Vitality, despite the lack of a bomb plant, they're still going to go for a buy. Keep the pressure up. Can't really blame them for trying. Config. Nice enough shot there with the FAMAS. Has to fall really far back. And you could hear the, the rattle of that MAC-10 and you did not want to be anywhere near him. He's still being hunted. They're just running across the map. Now against the scout. Fearless is Masuta. He will be taking out my Blamef eventually, but he really, really traversed the whole map before he finally got, uh, got brought down. I think for complexity to to have a good start here on the CT side is going to be really important. It's it can get very uh, rough on this uh, side of the map. Ooh, and... It's that clench. Pick it up. Got it. Oh, got it though. All right, and well, that was a force. So Vitality should be uh, eating this round in the teeth. Need those uh, gravity gloves from playing Half Life, Alex. Wow. That's. I still remember, it's such, you had such childish joy. I still do. Playing that, playing that game, I remember it clears that. It is the best game I've ever played in like, you know, at least like single player experience. I've yeah, played. no, you were just so happy. I, I didn't even want to play the game just so that I could <laughs> keep watching you play the game because you were just so happy. It was like such a wholesome experience. Yeah, it's, it's wild. Cyber goes down through the smoke and all. Again, this is around where they really don't have much, so I don't think it's really too exciting. The most they can hope for is some kills to uh, to try and make the economy slightly worse for their opponents. Some pretty good uh, transfer there coming in from Blamef. And a quick 3-0 in favor of the complexity side. So that's the start. But now comes the uh, the real test. And this map could just be so hard to figure out for the CTs. There are so many ways in which you can screw this up. So we'll see if complexity have what it takes or if Vitality can figure out how to move them around and how to find the weaknesses. Some teams have, you know, a B player that'll just be really, really good on the CT side. That'll just be rock solid. And that is, that's worth so much on this map because suddenly you can defend a bunch of other positions. But if your B player needs help a lot and they still sort of have to, you know, put two people over there, it's quite a different uh, scenario. Oh, wow. Well, wow. you watched uh, Blame F with the tracking the other day where he just picked somebody off through the smoke. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, he was on the receive again that time. Blame F going to get him right through. Nice spray and the spot. Blame F and Config working together. The duo along with Poison as well, chiming in. Brings the op to bear and three kills at the beginning of the round here for Complexity on ramp. And now Rush 
Does he win out versus RPK? It looks like it. No, I curse him. RPK survives with five health. Nobody knows how. But yes, he did. How nor why? Yeah. I mean, listen, all, all why questions are going to be hard to answer, so skip on, the, on that one. Masuta with an AK and health. RPK, definitely not. Yeah, he's going to be going, going forward to, to find out where they are and then call it in and hope that Masuta could do some more damage. Again, not really a winnable round here. Especially not with this position. Ooh, looks like the stairs took almost all of those bullets. Masuta, though. Still a bomb plant would be kind of nice. One versus three. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, he's going to put that one off as well. Going to receive one of his own. 15 seconds left. He's being flanked, so not that far away from death from the stairs behind him. Poison takes him down, though. Yeah, Config is right there. So four and oh, and Complexity are losing two, two people. I think they're going to be just fine with that. Mm. That's a good result. That's, uh, I mean, let's go build the bank. Yeah. That's the important bit. And yeah, right through the smoke. Blame F. Lethal. This is such a, I mean, so important. I mean, but, okay. I want to read a lot into it. I want to be like, wow, you know, let's get, let's get excited about this. Except we saw the same thing from Complexity on Nuke. They got a really strong start CT, looking great. And they just let that first half slip through their fingers. Team Vitality tie things up and all of a sudden, you know, we got the first map that we had. Same yeah. thing on Dust2. Start really strong, looking good. And then we had more of a battle. So, Complexity right now, I'm taking them. I think what I'm saying is I'm going to take this start with a result. I think that's. I mean, yeah, it's it's definitely too early to to start to call it any kind of a any kind of a victory. They do have some some money build up. I mean, that's that's the thing that's probably more than anything worth watching for here. If they keep only losing, you know, one or two people per round, that'll make it way better. But I mean, this is just maybe another thing to consider. But the one round, the last one where they had the orb on on Cyber finally, he just went down for the smokes. You probably feel at that point like, well, we didn't even really get a chance to to put that into play. Like that was. You know, that, the, one of the tests should have been how to complexly deal with Saibu, and, and you know, that never really even became a, a factor. So that's also a little bit awkward. Rush is going to be finding Saibu trying to just peek that corner. And now they're all going for the B-bomb site, but JKS is playing and spotting them out, and he knows they just have the pistols. So he was feeling confident in taking a fight. Maybe he wasn't the, expecting that. The tank, it takes a while for that turret to rotate around. But then it goes off, and there's nothing left in front of it, right? No, it's it's great. JKS is gone. <clears throat> and we're into a man advantage scenario with the bomb lurking its way over towards A, interestingly enough, here for uh, Vitality. They're just hoping to get a bomb plant. They're hoping they can sneak in here and get that done, except that Poison has remained behind. Misses the shot. Nine seconds left. No time to mess around, and he is going to succeed. So... Look at that. Not bad. Not, oh, even better. Insult to injury. Shaxi doing the work. Two kills. Looking for a third as well. He could definitely find this. So close. Rush stops him. But, man, Shaxi, he's too damn good, Anders. You cannot sleep on this guy. He is always dangerous. That went from being just a casual, you know, round for complexity, making yeah. money and all the rest of it, to... A, a near loss and a huge economic downturn for them. Yeah, so Blame F pulling at the collar there a little bit. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Man, they they can't let that happen. Nice, clean, clean, eco, clean. Let's go. Test, test, test. I don't think that was a clean eco. <laughs> I don't know if that. Yeah, I don't think that. Uh... It might be delayed. Who knows? Regardless, um, <laughs> we certainly have different definitions of what a clean eco is. Counter nade coming out. Doesn't really do anything. And they're spread out all over the place. Forward defense over at B from, uh, from complexity side. And this smoke at ramp. It's going to keep them slowed down at least for a tiny bit. Nobody really holding middle for complexity. That is dangerous. Oh. Ah, the gun barrel gives them away, doesn't it? And rush the steps. This is it. One after another. Poison's still alive, though. He can be that turret on this A site and make Vitality pay. And it's looking like Vitality, the price is a bit too much. They're backing off. They did leave a man behind. Yep, Shoxy. He's over here in a lurk uh, scenario. But that smoke going off to cut, to block off the entrance of B is interesting. 
Complexity are able to rotate over in the nick of time, and now Team Vitality have succeeded in spreading out the defense. It's just yeah. a matter of making up their, their minds now. Where do they want to hit? Shark's just waiting here the whole time. I mean, if he can get to the next corner even, even if Poison got a shot off on someone who was coming up the, the regular route, up mm -hmm. the ramp, Shark's could just jump right in his face, so... And you can hear him stepping back there. He has, I think, a, he's got a very, very good map in his mind right now of exactly where Poison is. Probably hear the scoping as well. So, yeah, gonna be smoking him off. And then a follow up. And yeah, Poison though. Gonna be pushing forward. That's interesting. 14 seconds. And I think they are, uh, yeah, they're gonna back it out. They say there's no, not even any point. Yeah, I think this is a smart move. Look, they have no nades left on complexity to even help with the retake. If Poison gets a shot there. It's a three on three, maybe. But um, yeah, just save the guns. You'll have the money for the next round. You'll because of that eco round. Maybe without that eco round, they go for it because they just feel like, okay, you know, we have all this bank. We can try and make some kind of play here. Yes. But uh, you know, due to the eco round and Shox's antics uh, before that, yeah, probably just safer to back off and hold on to the guns. Shoxy though, he's not done with them yet, though, Anders. Shoxy decides when the party ends. Yeah, well, I mean, he's got the money to, to... It wouldn't be great to throw it away, but he, I can understand why he wants to push that a bit further. I'm curious, though. I Rush was... Rush was very sure that they were going to be running up under that scaffolding, but there was no one there on the CT... On the, on the sort of the bomb side of that. Yeah. Over by the, uh, the, the boxes or anything that, that could actually help him. So he was always going to be that exposed. I just... I don't know. I wonder if there's a miscommunication or if he thought that there was someone further up or what was going on. Regardless, it, it certainly looked like he just sort of turned his back to, to the Vitality team. This is great, though. The flash on top and the spray down, they just get absolutely wrecked. Well, okay, then. That was <laughs> that was so fast. Yeah. It was just at the beginning of the round, and now it's all it's just instant death. It's done in a second, wasn't it? Aye, then. Oh, well, Zaiwu's still alive. He's been a bit quiet so far. Uh, but, I mean, then again, everybody has pretty much apart from Shoxi on Vitality. So we'll see if he wakes up at any point in time here. But uh, this is still uh, Zaiwu, Misuda, and RPK alive for Team Vitality. 5-1. to one. Complexity's uh, score in the lead right now. Oh, dear. Nice shot from Poison. And it's looking like it's gonna they're going to extend it to 6-1 here, barring some kind of miracle play coming in from Vitality. Absolutely, and even more than that, if they keep all this money alive, I mean, that that's the thing that will make Complexity feel so much better about what's happening. That one round from Shocks, where he, you know, almost had the one with the three with the, with the Tech-9, and then on top of that, the round that he actually did win for his team, that's that did so much damage to the Complexity economy. But if they can get back in here now and just, you know, come out of this one almost scot-free, that's going to make up for quite a bit of it. I don't think they could afford it. Flash to set it up. They know that they're still out there. There's another kill for Poison. And Saibu can't do anything about that. So, wow, all five members staying alive. Didn't jump over the edge at the timer. That's what you have to do, Samla. As the, as the round turns. You have to jump. Yeah. So do you, do you think that that is going to displease the ghosts that live on top of the skyscraper that's under construction? You know, you didn't offer yourself up as a burnt offering. So you are now going to lose every round here from here on out. I just think it's, um, you know, it's just a, it's just a, t a test for yourself, you know? Oh, okay. You have what it takes kind of thing. I see. Yeah. Uh, well. It's the, it's the ancient wisdom sense. You've, you've got you've to find a way to die before you die, Samla. <laughs> Hi, Lieutenant Spears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eighth round here. Only shocks, you said, and it is still true. And that's a problem. I don't know. I d I'm not seeing, like, the, I don't know. I'm not seeing those executes that go into the B-bomb side or anything. I mean, I know they've been running into poison a fair bit. But usually you can take that, that stairwell that's outside of B. You can take that over. You can, you know, get some good Molotovs in once you have them. They have three of them now. You can get those in there, and then you can... Oh, just get up and, and, and get into that site. And if they smoke it off, I mean, you can just use, use that to flash your way through. This is a good exchange. RPK taking out JKS afterwards. 
still solid. And Vitality, even after that killer, they're not committed anywhere, so they still have options. RPK waiting patiently, hoping for somebody to go ahead and peek for info over here. And in the meantime, that Zywu finds the config above the ramp in the scaffolding. Once again, Shoxy working his way through. This is going to get awkward. Flame F. Yep. Instantly wow. picked by Zywu. Brutal death. Yeah, poison. I don't know. This AWP, I mean, sees one. Going to try and relocate. It's, it's pretty quick, isn't it? I don't think it's worth it any longer. Now that the smoke is up, you're in a two-on-one. You don't have that much money to play with. And he's still going for it. That'll get him killed. A nice triple for Saibu. Vitality about to find a second round. Yes. That is much needed. Man, think about it, though. Split second earlier there for um, Poison. He comes around that corner, gets a pick. Yeah. Uh, that, was then just, it's on. that was a split second sort of scenario there. Unfortunately for him, it does not pan out. And so Rush should be able to save this AK. And yeah, second round on the board for Vitality. A little bit more gumption that round. A little bit more fight, a bit more spread out, too. It's not like they were just stacked one on top of the other. So Vitality making adjustments that are definitely working out for them. And I think just the, just the luxury of starting the round trading, Yeah. you know, like so that it's a four on four, it spreads out the defense more. And, I, you know, again, like I just think that, that little thing helps them out, too. It's got to be better than losing two guys within the first 15 seconds of right. the round, though. You know, like that's got to help. Those runs are never fun. You know, Apex is just like, yes, it's, it's all up from here. <laughs> well, this ninth round. Got so many grenades on the Vitality side. Complexity using all of their bank. So there's real potential here. I mean, this could go, this could go from a, a pretty big lead for Complexity into, into something like 6-4 really fast. We'll see how that plays out. Still that double setup at B with no one holding middle. And I wonder if Vitality, if they, if they find out, if they can try and find a way to abuse that. Because if you take over that middle part of the map, it is so hard to defend anything on this. And they're going for it. Look at this. Yeah, we're still getting that dance over at ramp as well. But there it is. Misuda, he gets the drop on Blame F. That really makes it awkward here as the bomb is rotating over towards B. It's going to be coming up the stairs in a moment. Misuda ready to gut him, but hey, Rush has got his teammates back. There's Config and JKS. Everybody chiming in just like that. We are looking at a completely different situation. Just total and utter devastation. 14 Vitality. They walk into their demise on that B site. I can't believe it. It seems like <laughs> if you adjusted any of the kills in this round just a little bit, it's Vitality picking off people left and right. But they were just a second late to all of those fights. I yeah, think... Oh, oh, that's a kick in the pants. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, oh, man. How do you recover from that? I mean, they have money. That's, that's the thing that'll help them recover at least. Here's something. Blame F when he goes into the middle like that. I'm pretty sure in any other round but the last one, he wouldn't have just peeked it like that. He would have had someone in B flash him into it, but they couldn't because they didn't have any flashbangs because of the economy. Right. Um, so I think I think normally he wouldn't just, you know, nakedly peek in there and just be like, oh, I hope no one's shooting at me. Um, Gee, guys. Yeah. Please. Uh, I think he would call for a flashbang, or, fla or, or he would himself flash himself in, or something like that, because it just, that's so dangerous. Oh, what a grenade. Yeah, that's a monster. Ouch. Oh, yeah, well, another one? No, okay. But that's still going to be a one-for-one -one trade. Favors, Vitality. There's another one. They've been taking damage, but they've been at least getting some kills, weakening this defense. Zywu, Apex is there, buddy. But still, going to work his way up here. That has prompted a rotation. JKS now going to join the party over here on A. Going to have configs back. Still a lot of time left. Indeed. But it's looking like uh, Vitality wants to commit to this A site. Smokes are going down once again. They still have some counter nades here on the complexity side. That could be really interesting. Oh, config. Lucky to be alive. That would have been a nice pickoff to have right at the offset of this attack into the A bomb site. 35 seconds left, Config still ready and waiting, gonna spray and not quite hit it, but he should be calling it in now, that's a big giveaway. And Config goes down, wall bang by Saibu, oh wow, I would love to see that again. Four versus three now, 22 seconds, and JKS, he wants to look over, but there's just smoke everywhere. Nearly guesses the timing as Rush goes down to Apex, now it's a two on four, and they're gonna be planting the bomb at the very last seconds of this round. And you could make an argument for, for trying to stop that, but I don't know. It probably is low percentage. A third round here for the French side.
Okay, this is going to be... Can we see that Zywoo frag? Yeah. Because that is just... I mean, is the Zywoo effect again. I really wonder how he got that. Config dies... <laughs> he survives everything. Did he? I mean, it, to me, it looked like he, Config fell really far back. Maybe he didn't, and he just stayed at the corner and got sort of, like, shot right through the wall. But Unless maybe... I mean, can you clip the gun barrel through the wall? I mean, if you stand uh, stand that close, does anything clip through that would give it away? Because, I mean... No, no, I don't think so. That's outrageous. <laughs> we're going to find out. We're, we're going to find out, yeah. Maybe it's not as exciting as we're going to be. But I, I, to me, in my, in my mind, I thought he'd escaped really far away, or at least was in the middle of it. Seven to three, 11th round of Vitality. I think I, this is not... Three rounds is not anywhere near enough on the T side of Vertigo, but, you know, they're starting somewhere. They're getting there. I'm guessing we don't have Zyro so clip. Maybe not. But listen, if we don't, I'm sure the people on social media on the Blast account will get it. So they're quite good at that. They're quite good at that. Okay, we can count on that. And if you aren't following Blast on the social, get after it. Oh, we do have a hitter. Maybe not. It's a no, this kill. is Zyro's first kill. And let's see. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Surprise. Get out of here. Beautiful. All right, they need a lot more of that. A lot more. Yeah. I have a good restraint there shown from Config. I'm surprised. I kind of expect him to get a little bit more frustrated with the... Well, was that now or was it... Yeah, that was now, yeah. All right. So... But hmm. well, if he was still pounding his desk, I would have been worried. A minute later, he's angry. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? But uh, restraint here from Complexity. Not going to go for the Force. Instead, it's going to just be holding on to this AWP, this M4 on Blame F. I mean, two of these guys are heavy hitters, so they can definitely have an impact and ruin Vitality's day here. Smoke should be clearing momentarily. And there it is, playing the game on the edge. Man. This is getting crazy. It's so tense. Poison's committed to this position. I don't think he realized someone's yeah. worried about him. He's no dead idea. in a second, yeah. Oh, man. He's really, really exposed. He does see them. They don't even check it. How is that possible? He's going to get sent flying off the building. And Blame F, he's going to have some backup out here. But Masuta snuck, oh, nearly snuck into the middle, but loses to the deal. They must win this round, Vitality. If they lose this to just some scrambled rifles and pistols, that would be so upsetting. Nice kill there for Apex, but he cannot take down Blame F. And now with 45 seconds, it's a 2 on 3. Get out of here, Anders. Can't believe it. All of this because they don't spark poison. Yeah. What is going on? I, I, would, I mean, he can definitely save this. I mean, it's not done yet. Complexity have started to rotate Rush back over towards B. Unsure of where... Oh, now the bomb is getting planted. And so that is going to establish it. And all three players for Complexity ready to work together. Flash to buy a little bit of time. Create some openings here for RPK to take a peek. And another smoke as well to create some space. But this is it. They have to commit. RPK managing to back off. Zywoo's got that AWP as well. Holding the site itself. And RPK going for the wrap. Annihilates JKS. Rush going to get caught. And there's Zywoo. Beautiful work from Vitality. They keep their cool. And they collect a fourth round. 7-4. to four. Complexity still in the lead on the CT side. But Vitality now. That was a must-win round. Yeah, that was incredibly important that they managed to put that together. Great restraint from both these players at the end to to not not go for any early fights. Also, you see, I mean, the smoke that they put up there. I think Cyber put it up, not landing on top of the bomb because that would have made it, you know, tricky for them. Just in front to make sure it was really hard for them to do anything. A little bit of a jump down and a little bit of an attack coming through. They don't have a lot of grenades and some sketchy rifles, so they're gonna go on the offense here, and that is actually working so well. Oh no, Apex has the bomb. If he dies, it's a disaster and he will. Oh no, Config and then Blame F as well. Three kills between them. They were not ready for that. When in doubt, just flash through the smoke and run at him with an MP9, dude. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's crazy complexity. This entire time, I mean, well, Vitality have been showing pretty much every round an interest in ramp at first, yeah. right? So I'm guessing a at this point, there's like, well, if they're going to set up there every time, let's just run at them. Yeah, Get some flashes in there and go. What a call coming in from Blameth. And we also, I mean, we also just, we know that whenever Vitality have had the ramp for a while now, they've been pretty good at taking that A-bomb side. Complexity haven't had very good retake protocols. Some teams do have, like, a whole elaborate setup for how to, you know, how to, I think NIP were one of the first teams I saw doing that where, 
you know, they, they'd essentially let you have the A-bomb site, then you just set up a whole wall of smokes and go in and retake all of it, and it was very hard to deal with. Complexity haven't shown us that kind of style yet. Anyway, they're saving what they have this round, which, um, I mean, again, they don't have that much money vitality, and there's still rounds left to be played, so... Certainly. Yeah. Eight rounds, though, for Complexity, and that one was a real slap in the face. Oh, man. <laughs> what a call. What a call from Blamef. He is such a baller in-game leader, dude. It's hard not to be a fan. Fragging in-game leader, hardworking in-game leader, bodybuilder in-game leader. I mean, dude, dude just does it all. It's wild, yeah. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, if at any point, you know, he decided he didn't want to, he didn't want to be playing Counter-Strike, you could just transfer under the Dallas Cowboys and play there. Yeah. <laughs> just got the size. For Maybe. Uh, I just keep thinking of that Arnold, the old Arnold Schwarzenegger clip from uh, Pumping Iron, you know. <laughs> just, yeah. Day and night, Anders, day and night. Let's just blame that for you. He's loving it. 13th round here. It's starting to start to creep towards the end of the half. And they definitely more. I'd say they definitely need, like, at least six. And I think even that is cutting it. A little bit on the low side. Is taking some damage. Blame it. Pushing up fairly aggressively. It does, again, leave middle and B not that well defended. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if they want to be holding this position with the three-man set up at ramp forever. Maybe it's just like, a, do this for the first, you know, 30 seconds and see what happens. Oh, wow. Ooh, really aggressive. That's, just, that's their smoke and the Molotov as well. Crazy to see you. Nice leg shot and the spam through. Cyborg is lucky to be alive. What the? How is he still here? No idea. Unending pressure, but Rush is going to win the duel versus Masuda in mid. And RPK. Oh, is he finally going to give JKS a little bit of action over here? Yeah, buddy, JKS. Got to be careful, though, that HE going to bank right on him. JKS trying to take the fight. JKS still here, and JKS wins! Shoxy, though, is going to be there to trade it. It was a short-lived victory there, but it's still... Two players remaining here for Vitality, moving up onto this B site, and we are finally going to get a B site plant. One versus Maybe. two now. Yeah, I mean, side was solo from earlier. Smart play, though. Trying to use that trigger discipline. He'd love to see someone else. If he could have just had even audio cue to where someone else was, it would have been so valuable to him. But now, I mean, we can tell that uh, Blame F is quite far away, but Sai has no idea. He doesn't know if as soon as he plants this bomb, there's going to be someone right on top of him. And Blame F now up in the window. He's now just a few footsteps away from him. He get here really, really quickly. He's going to hold it down, and Blame F actually standing his ground. Now we're going to get the slight little angle on him, and it'll be a ninth round for complexity. Vitality really struggling here mm -hmm. to find that fifth round. They, it's just the never-ending battle, it seems like. And we are going to be, I mean, because of that bomb plant even, you know, you want to say, oh, yeah, great, they should be able to squeak a bye. No, loss bonus has been awkward. They were able to get a few I rounds on the board, anyway. and that kind of just... That definitely forced this round of most vitality. Yeah, you just go and swing, swing for the fences. Yeah. Get whatever you can. Uh, uh, it's looking like they're they're going to meet you halfway, Anders. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Zaiwu's got the uh, AK Kevlar. And, well, so far, Vitality, they are really struggling on this third map versus Complexity, who just continue to impress. That's a shame. Grenade got bounced. Mm -hmm. That would have been a mega nade. Yeah, it looks like it actually would have landed quite well. Yeah, what can you do? Only armor on Saibu. That's a critical difference when you're doing these Deagle type buys. Deagle armor can actually be really lethal, and Deagle no armor can very easily you know, start to look good and then just get completely wrecked. Poison still a big fan of uh, the smoke over Molotovs, just making it impossible to see anything. Super cool. Nice double spray from Config, though. Gets in there. And Shoxy now alive. 1v3. Eats a nade. No armor. No armor. Down to half HP. And, well, this is looking a bit grim for Vitality, but keep in mind this was not the force buy. No. It's right. a half buy going into the next one. They're going to have money for the next round. If he can somehow magic his way into a position to get a bomb plant again. I mean... It it's doable because there are so many. This is whole map is, you Wait, know, it's like two labyrinths just stacked on top of each other, right? There's no way does he thread his... He threads he's, the needle. Yeah, he's doing it. He's playing 
He's playing some 4D chess of his own here. Dude, get out of here. Slowly, silently, making it. Oh no, wait. JKS is going to show up. Oh, shocks you've served this one. Oh, what a headshot. That's beautiful. Now it could actually be done. I thought he was dead for sure, but not quite. All right. Take Sanders. He definitely, he definitely deserved that. Now, they do have a Molotov and a couple of other tools here to make this work. Wondering if he's hiding. He's going to get one more headshot. Can he get the last one? He's just around the corner. Now, Rush, though, has a smoke and a kit, so we'll see. Is it going to be enough to get rid of Shocks? He's putting it up there, and Shocks can see right under that, and he's going to go down. Oh, I wanted that to happen, but Rush will survive on 10 health and a 10th round for complexity. Shocks is such a dangerous player. Shocks is insane. Every time, that That's guy. Cool. That's really cool. Such a monster. And well, now we get to see. Oh, this is just a little bit of a replay of the action at the beginning. <laughs> Let's all relive that missed HE for poison. Yeah. Love that. 15th round Ooh. coming up. All right, let's see. Rush on 17 kills. All right, it's double digits in the first half on the CT side. Complexity 10 to 4. Looking yeah. fantastic. All right. Oh, poison's too fast. Don't know how they didn't catch him. It didn't look like he even thought that that was going to be possible. Yeah, there they are. Nice grenade landing on top of them. JKS with a UMP. Setting himself up for a bit of a flash, but didn't realize it was going to be that quick. And Apex with a headshot. Looking really, really good in this round. A fifth round. I mean, again, it all has to just start somewhere. And blame it and Config. Two Danes. Going to try and go for a tricky retake, to put it mildly. No Config. Boom, he's just brutal. Going to get traded, but still, he did his job. This sets it up for Blame F. Full flash, though. Gonna buy a lot of time, but he's now out and looking for the fight. Picks up the first one, but not the second. Apex there to lock it down. Quad kill for Apex in the round. His team needed it. Good half called by Shoxy, and we're gonna be taking a break before we come back to see how this series concludes. We are back once again, the final half in this best of three, Complexity versus Vitality. And it's been, it's been a thrilling ride so far, although they've had a very hard time getting started on this map here, Vitality. It's been all uphill. They need to change that on the second half if they don't want to lose this whole thing. And of course, we do have more kind of fight coming on the channel right afterwards. It's going to be Scrawny and Launders casting their way for their own best of three. The Scrawners. Exactly right. So we're with uh, an attempted quick pick off there. Not quite going to get it. They're already taking over. Bomb is on the other side though. So I wonder if this is just all a fake at the moment. If they're trying to throw them for a loop. Poison with a big kill. And is that going to be enough to draw anything out of the B side? No, it won't. Rush getting caught. That was RPK with an absolutely massive kill. I think that they wanted to just confuse this defense right away. And I mean, getting a kill is a fantastic way to do it. But, but they weren't fooled. RPK said, no, no, no. I'm going to stick around. So what does this mean? It means that Apex is going to go for the push. Blame if not connecting with the shots. Poison finds one. He's got that P250 in hand. But Apex again! What is that? Eight round, eight kills in a row here. And make that a ninth. Right? No, eight. He's got eight. He had seven before. That's eight. Yeah. So uh, Apex having a bit of a flamey moment here. When his team needs these rounds the most, he's the one who's delivering the kills. When he got that, uh, when he got that quad kill in, at the end of the last half. Yeah. That put him at eight, which means he had eight kill four kills before the quad kill. Now he's had an another four. Uh, so, you know, uh, in in total, total now, yeah. yeah, that's you know, that's uh, a pretty imp that's pretty impressive. Yeah, two monster rounds from the in-game leader. That's so crucial, so key. Glad to see it happen there because uh, it was looking a little grim for Vitality, but because there's a bomb plant and the way that the economy works now, we're gonna have three AKs. Yeah, I mean, and JKS obviously decided that right away. He's like, I'm not going to try and fight this one versus three. I'm, I'm just going to get the bomb plant. That's the only thing that I really care about. So that's, uh, I think, a sensible choice that people don't always make. But these AKs, I mean, Shoxi's going to get close with the MP9. So they are trying to set a bit of a trap over here towards the Vitality. 
But Complexity are content so far to take their time about this. They are currently occupying the lower decks, the lower half of this map. I've not quite made it out into the sunlight just yet. Oh, unbelievable. Ah! Ah! That's painful to watch, Anders. Oh, and he, he, he doesn't even realize yet, obviously. He's just like, listen, guys, I've waited here for a long time. It is, it is the Counter-Strike curse, isn't it? It's just always meant to work out that way. And what's Config watching? He's watching upper, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's up. He's yeah. up towards the So middle, yeah. this is... Oh, my. <laughs> I mean... It's going to be a super-duper fast rotate. He, well, yeah, it is. So, I mean, also, if, if that means if this A5 stalls out in any way, they're so dead, right? They have to they have to win immediately and keep going and then somehow realize that they're getting shot at the back. And, I mean, I any second now, it's all going to be done. Shock's turning the corner, and that is going to be a problem. JKS went down. He had no head armor. Apex will fall, though. Not at all bad at the moment. Poison finding big kills. Blame if next in line. He did have armor, but just couldn't stand up to RPK. And now Poison hiding back here. They have Molotovs, and, well, they're not going to need one. An HE grenade will do it. And now they've actually switched it to the B-bomb side for the plant. So that is certainly going to be uh, throwing things for a loop here. He's going to get the bomb plant down, and, yeah, we'll see if he can... Actually, that grenade helps him. He actually knows where they're coming from now. That might be a little bit of a benefit. Instant shot from Rush. He's so good on this map. And he nearly takes down Shocks as well, and surely... He can win this fight, Config. He needs one bullet, but he does not have armor. Any kind of an aim punch, and he's probably going to be dead right quick. And it is Shoxy. He's got the triple kill. He's lined up for it and looking for Config at the moment. The bomb is down in the middle of the site. He's not take that far. He's going to tap it one time, and Config just shoulder peeking it. He's going to go out, and it's Shoxy picking it up. A quad kill, saving his team. Absolute miracle. That, that did not look like that was going to work. You're getting good at the radio commentary. I'm really like, you painted a good picture. Oh, I man. couldn't watch. I had to close my eyes. I had my hands over my eyes. I just couldn't watch. Feeling for the... I mean, <laughs> Shoxy stepped it up. Look at it. 16 kills on him. A little bit behind Rush, who's at 18. Yeah, but... Man. Look, dude, look at Poison. Poison that Rush is like, what am I, a joke to you? <laughs> like, oh, it was single-handedly open up the A site. Three kills with the AK. Just brutal. And uh, and still, they are not able to get that round. Just shocks he's too much. Oh. Got in from Zaiwu, gets a tag on JKS, but not the kill. And in the meantime, Apex just chiming in. Uh, nice enough shot there. Sharks, though, almost getting caught in the middle of that jump. Three on three, and they're keeping up the pressure here. Rush out in the middle. No, that smoke that has landed is huge for Rush. I thought he was going to get picked off, and he still might hear RPK, though, overextending a bit. And the bomb is going to be going down. They're so low on health vitality. They did it once. Shots did it once, but this is asking way too much. Saiwu in a one versus. I can't believe he's this crazy. He actually went for it, and Blame It will take him down. There's only like one other person, maybe in the world, that would have gone for that one versus two with that low health and an AWP. But this shatters the vitality economy. JKS is. He's still getting used to it, guys. I like how everybody else is just so high energy on complexity, right? Like, Blame F, he gets a little squeegee so he can wipe his monitor off between rounds. You know, <laughs> config, hype, rush, hype. And then JKS is going like, man, these guys get really pumped, don't they? Like, <laughs> these, these guys get really excited. Yeah, I'm sure he'll get that. But, uh, yeah, he's keeping it real cool. He's focused, dialed in for his, uh, his first his debut here at the team. It's been good. It's been really good. This is a start. It's a, I mean, this is an excellent start for Complexity. If they take Vitality down, best of three, that's no joke. No, no, no. Definitely. Vitality are not a team to be taken lightly right now. Config is so close to death, and he doesn't know it. Peek with the Deagle here from Saimu, and now the focus is going to be on Masuta, so he's going to go for it. There is the headshot. Two big kills right now, and they're going to keep going with the bomb as well. All Deagles all the way. Man. JKS and Rush, well, certainly now they cannot bring it back. That's just all the timing working out, in, or at least against the complexity. So that will be surely an eighth round. Yes. In the back announced, you know, eight, eight to 11. Could be a ninth round doable. as well. That's the thing. Very likely, yeah. I mean, what can you do here? You are broke. Let's see. Yeah. I, this is going to be so difficult to do anything. But 
you know, good on vitality, setting that trap with the Deagles, man. The Deagles are just still so powerful. They are. It's so interesting when you do that kind of a thing because you could have all the same positions for 10 rounds in a row and you'd, you know, you'd find a different outcome every time. I mean, some of the time, you know, they'd Molotov Cyber when he would he'd be found before anyone else did anything, right? Rush. Oh, he could have had it, but now he cannot. They're definitely going to hunt him down the second time. Fair play. He did some damage. He tried his best. Vitality, though. Demonstrated that he knew all the smokes. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, there. It's like the, it's like a cascade of it's like this sort of a domino effect. As soon as Masuda gets one kill, they're all looking for him, and Saibu knows. Okay, I've got like a, a short window here where I could peek out, and and they're not paying attention, and and then it just it keeps going from there, right? Yeah. But yeah, you can replay it again, and it'll it, there's a good chance it'll work out slightly differently. They still buy into this round. I guess fair play. They probably would have had to almost double eco, or at least had a very bad buy if they wanted to fully save. So, and they've been following this line of keeping the pressure up, right? They want to keep that economy so low on the CT side. Massive pain. Yeah, Jake is kind of hating life right now. Conquer gets wall banged. But he doesn't die, so the nades still stay in play. And after showing a little bit of presence over here, they, towards the B site, Complexity are now going to rotate over towards A. They still have poison kind of hanging around over here on ramp. And well, that has succeeded in locking two players from Vitality over towards B at least. And so, should weaken the defense here on A. Got him on the top of that corner where uh, Apex is hanging out. He has a smoke though, and he's not even going to use it, so he'll go down. Not that uncommon for you just to smoke it up and just wait. That's unfortunate. Doesn't have to be that alarming just yet. Sniper with a nice pick off. Nearly, I think he jump over the shot then. It looked like it. Bomb is being planted. So, um, an interesting turn to this round that was not really looking winnable at all for complexity, but now it is. I think re smoking it once again. They don't have any more smokes, but again, that smoke is going to be so annoying. It means they have to sort of you know, at least be funneled into the one side there. Three on three. Mac 10 P250 and an M4 to try and hold on to this bomb for as long as they can. Shocks is the one with the kit. It's Mishuta with a kill on JKS and we're trying to move forward. It's just Blame F left and yeah, there's a whole army coming for him. They're definitely going to win that one. Nice retake and a good job on Vitality to get the ninth round and not losing so many players that they actually break their economy. That's great. Well, so far so good for Vitality in this second half. That's four rounds on the board now for them in the second. CT side shaping up nicely for him. 11 to 9, the current score. Complexity still in the lead on the T side, but we're getting some fight from Vitality. This, uh, the bomb plant, I guess, allows for Complexity to go for a half buy in this round. Yes. We gotta work a little bit. We gotta, <laughs> uh, we, we gotta spread the word a little bit, get a few more Vitality fans in there. Right now it's a bit lopsided. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think, you yeah, know, I, I, I so admire this, this attempt to to put on pressure as long but the but it's one of those things that you can only keep saying that as long as it's working when it stops working then it's it, it then these force buys are not about applying pre well i mean they some in theory might be but that's not going to be the effect of it and the result will just be that you're putting yourself out of having real buys mm. and the other team is going to be like sweet great we're fine with this yeah yeah but it's also kind of hard to judge people based on, you know, the future and not what's actually happening, you know. You very much are a man of the present, Anders. That is, I've heard what, it, what it's all about. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was clean. Oh. It's funny because they, so they spent so much time setting that up. Like, they were being really clever about it. And then <laughs> JK is just like, <laughs> oh no, my face. <laughs> gone done 1v3 still and vitality going to be playing it very patiently they do not want to give up another kill in this situation still building their bank on their side oh yeah this is uh this is going to be that question of whether or not complexity have the mental fortitude to get their grind on here vitality about to cross the rubicon they're going to get into the 10th round on the board for them the double digits it's looking so winnable right now for Vitality in a bunch of different ways. So many of their players were not even really showing up for this for this final map. And that's really changed. I mean, Simon has gone from not, not that much to up to 17. Shox is at 19. I mean, the duel between those two alone 
that wins games. And then Apex not be able to find Masuta is not doing that badly. He's a little bit lower on the ball, but it's not it's not devastatingly bad or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So right now, yeah, they've got what it takes. Complexity though, they I mean they've run it so close. They've got AKs back and again, and we need to start seeing some some round wins here coming out of them before it is too late. But similar strategies being applied to them. They're having to deal with that smoke at the ramp. And they're not loving it at all. Shock's gonna win the fight against Rush. It's a nice idea, but they also got backup. Think about how often Vitality, oh, sorry, Complexity were not holding the middle really that much at all. It's a double setup for Vitality instead. Kind of cool. Very. Flashes in. Oh, looked like it for a second there. All right. Yeah. No qualm, but uh, that is complexity taking a lot of damage. Rush is down. Blame F already. Man, Vitality in a, in a must-win round. They've set themselves up for success. They still have a handful of nades to work with as well. So this is going to be very difficult indeed for complexity, and especially now that Zywoo's managed to pick off config. Firepower has been reduced for complexity. There's going to be a flank coming in as well. Yep, Misuda is going to catch out Poison. And this is just so difficult now for Complexity. What do you do if you're Complexity? It's 2v4, and Vitality have got you boxed in. Yeah, I mean, the next kill will be the one that, that, that says if they even have a chance or not, right? Goes to where Vitality is absolutely done. If they get one kill, maybe there's a chance. Good headshot on JKS. RPK showing up. He'll get going down as well. 20 seconds, not that much health for this one versus two. And he knows Saibu's over there. He absolutely knows that. Molotov, I don't think lands quite far enough away, but he still picks it up. That's amazing. What a peek. And did he hear him? I don't know. I thought he did. Six seconds and shocks. Oh, he's going to walk around the other way. He took a guess. Is he covered by the box? That's smart play. He has to hit the headshot and it has to be instant. Otherwise, he's absolutely dead. And shocks is on the other side, walking around. JKS playing with him. He's already got the quad, but he cannot get the ace. Nice shot out of shocks. He's going to walk around and pick up the AWP. Oh, JKS. That, I mean, he, you could see how dialed in he was. Everything about that was pure art from him. You're too tense, you know? It was, uh, it was getting a little hectic there. I bet you if we were watching Shoxy's perspective, he'd just be cool as ice. Stay he was slowly into. moving in. Everything would be smooth on Shoxy's side. Like, oh, okay, you're behind the box. Cool. I'll wait. I'll wait. You're going to peek at some point, right? Yeah. Oh, man, 11 11, all tied up. Uh, Shoxy, I mean, it's just instant from Shoxy, dude. Shoxy is such a monster. He's yeah. so good. 21 kills on him right now. Yeah, that was, that. I mean, for it to come down to that, though, from how that round started. Well played, JKS. Had a bit of a Shoxy moment himself. But now we're tied up. 11 to 11. Make a wish. That's a double AWP scenario now for Vitality. And a full buy for Complexity. Powering up the ramp once again. No fear whatsoever from this team. But it's looking like a try, an attempt at a change of pace. Just trying to get in here quick and do some damage. I mean, they've got to this part without taking too much damage. That's a, that's a good start. Some wall bangs on Apex and some grenades to follow. That's another one. That'd be annoying. But, um, but yeah, at least they've made it this far without getting blown to bits, which was, that was one of the problems in the, in the previous round. The fact that they did so much damage, JKS, look at the money on Vitality. If they win this one complexity, they, they could really get back in the game much quicker than it seems. Look at the setup, though. There's a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. There is ready and waiting. It really does feel like uh, you get the short end of the stick if you have to hold B. RPK just gets no action. <laughs> just over there like, hey, cool, playing the game, doing things. I got some fun. Molotovs are in. Some smokes. Apex with a nice double lineup. Going to be taking Rush down for the smoke. And again, Rush, the top fragger right now for the complexity side. 30 seconds. I'm running out of time here. The bomb is still dropped a little bit further back inside. We're just holding it with his off. Like, they're so confident in him being able to get these shots that it's not even a problem. He will get not quite the bomb stop, but it doesn't matter. That's going to be 12 rounds for Vitality, and this time they keep the money alive. They're back in the lead. This comeback is looking so strong. This is from a 10 5 scoreline into a 12 11 in favor of the Frenchman. Amazing stuff. Yeah, a single round in the second half so far for complexity. It's not cutting it, Andrews. They are definitely struggling, and it feels like they're coming up blank a little bit here. A little bit at a loss. Blame if not looking too pleased. 
Big Stas himself looking, you know, a little bit more happy about things. But uh, this is uh, uh, thanks to the bomb plan. You know, they're just going to be able to keep uh, putting the pressure on here, Complexity. But they need to start finding out how to unlock these bomb sites. It's quickly becoming evident that, um, well, Vitality has got the, uh, the read on them. Double HG. Yeah, what is it? Taking a bit of damage. I feel like in this round they don't have that many grenades. I feel like Complexity probably themselves feel like, you know, we're so close. We All we need is like, you know, this time Apex got a double kill, but all we need is a round where, you know, we get one and don't lose a bunch of people in return. And, you know, we can set up the smoke. I really think in their own minds, it's probably, probably closer than the scoreline, at least, would suggest at the moment. Ooh, that needed to be a kill. Poison had the right idea. But now they've lost two for not much of a return. And in these rounds, I mean, similar to the, the, the JKS near ace, right? Even if you win it almost back here, it's like, yeah, but if you hadn't started with it, with it, you know, losing two players, it would have been so doable. So fighting our way back in these rounds is cool and all, and, and it, of course it matters, but sometimes you just you need one that's a little bit better off to the start. That's a nice shot through. RPK finally getting some action. It's just a one kill, but he has been left out. Missed opportunity for shocks there. And Rush, that's some nice tracking. Coming alive. Uh, taking him right down. A jump over and Apex, he's very low on health. This is so dangerous, but apparently he just still knows no fear. Rush is going to be pushing through, and he'll go down eventually. So now, one-on-one. -on -one. Blamer versus Saibu. He's inside of the site, and I don't think he knows yet. There it is, and Blamer will get the headshot. A 12th round on the board, tying it back up again. What a critical round for the Juggernaut. I can't believe how close these rounds are. Yeah, Rush has got to shake that off. I like that. That was a good reference, though, uh, Anders, you know, Space Marines, yeah, they shall know no fear. Rush, he looks like a good, you know, he's, he's, he's built. You know, I've never, I, 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 Warhammer 40k is one of those, one of those few things that I feel like I'm just missing out so badly on, on not knowing the story, and I know you're super into it. You showed me some of those, like, animations that that guy had made on his own, oh, man. and it's amazing, like, it's me, I, I feel like that and Dune, you really sold me on those two universes, I feel like. Dune and, uh, yeah, Dune and 40k are pretty much... Just gods really. They have so many good writers now as well, but just fleshing out that entire universe worth of story, right? Backstory, history. It's just so nuts. It's so good. All right. Uh, enough about that. <laughs> it's now on poison. Have they finally succeeded in turning things around here, Complexity? 12 to 12, tied up. And it's just been a series of clutches. This time, the clutch went Complexity's way. But now, look at the situation as far as the money's concerned. Well, both of these teams. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a dire situation for both of these teams, considering um, Vitality are tapped yeah. and so are Complexity. But it's going to be so much more messed up for, for Vitality because of the round loss bonus situation. Like, they're really going to be in trouble. Ooh, nice kill. With Suits are also been having a little bit of trouble finding relevancy. He's also playing that mid-B position. That's important. They're rotating people over to B. And checking out the A ramp and not seeing anyone, I think, uh, over there. So that's also important just to get the info. Shocks only get the one RPK all the way back here with the M4, but they haven't spotted him until it's a bit too late, and he nearly gets the double. My god, it's close. A bullet more would have done it, and it would have been a two on one. They're gonna put the bomb and run. All right, well, no one can hear them here. Normally, that's the huge issue with this map because that it's laid on top of itself, is when you start running, people just hear you. But they're going to be slight late with the rotation, although Apex is still a bit quicker, actually, on his feet. He's got the health. Poison is there. Oh, and he'll take him down. A massive shot coming out. Nine seconds left, and the bomb is going to be planted. Misuta now 17 health. It would be beyond heroic if he could pick up this round. It's so unlikely. He's going to walk right into Poison and go down. Another round for Complexity. Really starting to turn this around here. 13 to 12, and that, as you can tell... That destroys the vitality economy. Do they want to risk it? And I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's the other thing, though, Anders. Is subbing Masuda, Masuda out the correct call? Because look at his scoreline right now. <laughs> 11 frags. You know what I mean? The others have played a, a, a second map. They're sharp. They're warmed up. They're, they're good to go. You just let Masuda calm, all, like, cool all the way off. And then throw him back into a map and be like, here, go. I have no idea. Versus everybody who's warmed up. It's so hard. The guy's going to get smashed. Maybe he's been DMing in the... I don't know. You're right. It's, it's, it's hard to say. A shot from Rush. Yeah, dude. He's Rush is popping. Another one. He's actually been playing a monstrous game on, on, on Vertigo. I think that's 27 kills on him right here. But they must remain calm. They cannot give this one away. A cockpit going to get taken out. Oh, dear. 
Nice shot from Poison, and he nearly gets a double. Spray is a little bit wild, and eventually he goes down. And now it's down to the captain once again. One versus two. The problem is planting bombs like this is just very, very hard. Because as soon as you do it, they can be right on you. He's picked it up at least, but yeah, he's got a minute. Does he really want to go straight for it? Sure. Stick it. Oh, wow. Pros don't fake. Bold. He has a smoke. They have a Molotov. And they're going to be walking out right in front of him. There's the one. He almost doesn't even move. Straight headshot. Keep spraying and taking down Shocks. He did it again. He won against Shocks the last time around. And it's 14 to 12. My God, it's close this game. Man, Blame if it's good. Let's watch it again. Well, this is Rush opening up that bomb site, which, again, yeah, fantastic work from him. Yeah. But he doesn't flinch. He knows they're both coming from the same angle. He doesn't even second guess himself. He's like, right, hold it. And there we go. So sick. What a round. That puts complexity up on 14. And this is it for Team Vitality. They're, all of their money has been spent. Rifles, nades, a little bit of Kevlar. It's all they've got to work with here. And RPK getting aggressive on B. This is interesting. JKS could be going around this corner. He's got Config backing him up. Config has no way. RPK has been playing it so passively. And to be fair, Complexity haven't really been showing too much of a presence over here on B. So for, for them to be expecting that, it would be a real stretch. Config taken out, though, but at least they trade it. Yeah. So that still favors Complexity. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. And again, it's so early in the round that... They have a lot of time to figure out how Vitality have have adjusted to this. They still have a pretty strong presence at, at B and mid right now. A is really... But again, they're so forward at A, I guess. That's the logic. They're like, well, it's one guy, but he'll know in advance what's coming. Right. Mid here. They can call Misuta back in to help out Shocks. Oh, sorry, Apex, I guess. Yeah. Misuta now checking for it. This is still dangerous. It's so it's so tricky when there's that many people in here. Rush, been a bit of a god. Can't win against the FAMAS. And there's the crossfire. And that just falls apart between Apex and Masuta. They did everything right. And now they need to calm down. 25 seconds. There's no reason to fight at all. Just don't let him get out of this box. Just make sure you, you stay put. 18 seconds, and there's no way that he can win this fight against Shocks. Oh, no, there is! I can't believe it! That should be impossible. He was so low on health. Cy was running in on top of him, and JKS almost had another ace, ace clutch. He nearly did it earlier. He nearly did it again. He's certainly proving exactly what kind of a player he is. One who falls short. I mean, <laughs> no, that's so much to ask. How many, how many quad kill near clutches do we need here? Oh, man. How do you even get anywhere near that? Oh, that Zywu was close enough to rotate in like that, though. If that bomb gets planted, we're looking at another buy situation for complexity. Instead, now, it is going to be Zywu just dropping Config. Config's been having a bit of a rough time of it so far. But this is an eco round wow. from complexity, and they are just going to be trying to save as much as they can. Hopefully they can get into the bomb site and get a bomb plant so they can get that bonus money. That is what they're crossing their fingers, hoping for right now, and we'll see. Are they capable or not? Quite a presence here. Four players, four vitality on this B site. They saw it coming. They were ready, and it looks like Complexity have sussed this out. Yeah, they're still just lurking around with the Deagles. Not getting any headshot at the moment, so... I don't know what the plan is now. I think... I think they would have been so happy to get one or two Deagle headshots in this B bomb site, get the bomb down, and then even if they lose then, they're like, well, whatever, it's fine. But the fact that it's dragged on this long, now they're a little bit lower in health. There's not really that element of surprise any longer. Smoke is up, trying to see if they could jump on top of the railing. Boost over. That's kind of an interesting play, I like it. Shocks, if he stands up, he might be visible, but he's still crouched down. I think he's going to come crumbling down. Nice kills, actually. I'm shocked that they got that. Looked like they should have all been sprayed down in a whole group, and the suitor will, will do it with a bit of a delay. It's all fine. Nice triple for him. 14-14, back to a tied scoreline, and we're going to go the full distance. The full 30 rounds, possible overtime, obviously, but this has been a, a tremendous series.
marathon game. Uh, I mean, fantastic, fantastic performance. And well, complexity, I mean, vitality and complexity right now, both living up to the hype, I think, right? This is an excellent match, but complexity, they really are taking it to vitality. They are showing that they are a team to contend with. Nothing to take lightly here. And so Zywu straight off the ramp again. Apex this time is going to get caught by Blame F, and that is not retrade. That's not traded. It's not trade fragged. So complexity now with a man advantage. That's one of the things that's been so hard for complexity in these rifle rounds is getting just one clean kill like this, where there isn't a lot of grenade damage and they don't, you know, lose a bunch of players in return. So still obviously too soon to call it. Oh, Config should have been dead. I can't believe it. I bet Masuda can't either. So I was sneaking on out, and there's finally going to be a little bit of a return, but there's no one at the B bomb site. If they keep going, I mean, maybe RPK will get there in time, but it's going to be the entire other team that's there, and all he has is one smoke. I'm not even sure he can put it up in time. Really, he's waiting for them. He will get the one. Oh, what a great follow-up. RPK has been waiting for the action, but he absolutely stepped up to the plate. Big double. That actually means they have a chance here, Vitality, to maybe win that 15th round and at least secure the overtime. We'll see. Bomb going down on the other side. Shocks sneaking around. Config is dead and JKS is following next. That is so close, but it's going to be 15 to 14. Vitality, the first to step that first foot right on the finishing line, but they're not there yet. They need to cross it. Now, are we going to get the, the, the mirror? Because, I mean, it's 10 rounds on the CT side now for Vitality. So they're just going to mirror each other. Just... 10-5, 10-5 in the halves, and we're going into overtime. At least they cannot lose track of where the bomb is. I mean, they got the bomb plant. That's what's so key there for complexity. If they don't get the bomb plant, I think they're just outright doomed. Here, at least, they're going to be able to get to some AKs on the board. Yes. And it's not just going to be dry AKs. They'll have some nades to work with as well. Oof. Bit of concern getting shown there. This has been a tough game for everybody involved. Complexity, are, they have a lot of emotion on that team. I don't know. I guess it can work well sometimes, but I feel like it could also just really hurt them, too. If you're all constantly seesawing up and down. Can, but, you know, as a fan of the game, I like it. I think I, I, I'm, I really enjoy it. it. Makes me care about them a lot more. Oh, that's good for Apex. Config going down without having any say in the round. Another four kills, and they'll close it in regulation. Masuta there to help out, and he's doing a good job. Big double kill here, and trying to fall back a little bit. It's going to be a two on three. It's doable. JKS is still alive, but he's so out in the open. They don't have any more smokes or anything. They want a peek, just anything to give them the space to put that bomb down. And Shox is behind them, so if they go back, that is not going to help out at all. And look at the discipline for Vitality. This is so... Really, really great uh, Counter-Strike that you're seeing here on the French side. Mm. They could easily have, you know, stumbled into more fighting, like, oh, I'm going to peek, I'm going to take one more kill. Instead, they all freeze and just wait. And that is absolutely a good idea, especially when you've got the boxed in like this. Yeah, you have the man advantage. That's the important thing. You may risk throwing that away, and that can cost you this round. But now complexity, bomb planted and ticking, and the flank coming in from Shoxy. This is going to be it. This is what Vitality has been waiting this entire time for. But I think JKS has turned around for him, isn't he? Blame F is going to find RPK. What? I think JKS is watching for this. Although, no, Shoxy's come back around the other side now. This could be big. That one, JKS. Spray down Shoxy. He's been winning so many fights against JKS. It's 16 to 14. And finally, Vitality find a way to pull it through. It's a great comeback. And 10 to 5 first half in favor of complexity. And then all the way back here. What? a taxing game for everyone involved. Cool game to watch though, and we're not even done yet. We still have more Counter-Strike coming up. Scrawny and Launders are gonna be banging you the, be the next best of three. And obviously we'll have to desperate down this last map after the break. Stay tuned.